TedRacCoach.com. Why won't the Iowa stay in the caps or bag? So what's different about this case that's causing the Iowa to shift? Play along with me and let's see what happens here. So starting off with the caps or X's and holding the eye with the chopper through the parenthesis and using a scissotome here. A little bit off our screen here, so this may be a, more of a novice surgeon. Experienced surgeons will keep the eye in primary and center of the whole case. Sometimes the novice surgeons allow it to get off of the screen. Yes, I know your microscope view is larger than the camera view, but it's a pretty good looking rexus. I'll take it. And now let's see what's next. Oh, so now the main incision. So interesting technique. I like making that, uh, the idea of making the, the rexus with the cystome with just the paracentesis. And you can do it before you make the main incision to help preserve and keep the viscoelastic inside the eye. There's the incision. Looks like a little slice on the way out. Here's the end of the case. Now, capsule bag is totally empty. So again, Hard to tell from a 2D video if there's any shallowing or, or flattening out of the bag, but putting in some viscoelastic. And now widening the incision just a bit more, it looks like. And now time for the IOL. So in this case, the IOL does not want to stay in the caps or bag. And we're going to try to figure this out together. So here comes our lens. Looks like an acrylic lens going in the caps or bag. Orientation's correct. Leading haptic, it looks like the number seven. Trailing haptic, the capital letter L, and it's going in the bag. Let's make sure. Yep, that looks like it's in the bag to me. Again, I wish the camera was a little bit better centered, but we'll live with it, I guess. And now by manual irrigation aspiration to remove the viscoelastic. And let's see, what's our rexus size? Looks pretty reasonable. Looks like there's a reasonable overlap of the optic by that capsule rexus. So I don't think that's too much of an issue. We don't have any other history. Do you don't know if this patient had a history of, let's say, be having a small eye, a lot of hyperopia, tight orbit. But look at the lid speculum that's really cranked open here. If this is a small eye, let's say it has a 28 diopter lens, for example, and the corneal white to white is a little on the small side. If that's the case, then maybe it's also a smaller orbit and maybe you shouldn't have cranked the speculum so much, but look at that, the lens wants to come up. So first thing, let's seal the incisions. Because obviously the incisions are leaking and the AC is going to shallow that way because you're going to have loss of fluid. So if you seal the incisions, then it should be a lot easier to keep the eye well in the bag. And again, I, I think the rexus looks pretty reasonable. So sealing the incisions, there it is, loosening the speculum. Turns out that was the issue here. Once the speculum's loosened, you're decreasing a lot of that posterior pressure that's being induced by that speculum. And so now the case can be continued and completed without any issue. Again, look, loosening the speculum even more. So keep that in mind. If you get that speculum in there and you really crank it, you can actually cause some posterior pressure, which can affect you during the case. It may not be as evident during the case because you have the phaco probe in the eye with a high infusion pressure. But at the end of the case here, we're just trying to get things balanced out and incision sealed and keep the eye inflated and keep the lens in the bag you may notice more of an issue here. So yeah, I like the idea here. Loosen up that speculum there at the end. And then I'd, once you seal this main incision, avoid using it, leave it alone. If you need to do any adjustments in the eye, just go through the paracentesis and you'll be able to get that lens in the bag as it should be. And then leave the eye a little firm towards the end of the case. And I think you'll have a really nice outcome here. So interesting case, and now you learn something new. Be careful of the speculum being overly cranked open. Thanks for watching.